Days away, all eyes on the Crimson Tide. Yeah, WVTM 13's Ryan Hennessy sat down one on one with Alabama AD Greg Byrne today to talk about some new things that are coming in 2022. I'm here outside the Malmore Athletic Facility. Now, Malmore and AD here in Alabama is known for a lot of things, but many people know him as the man who hired Nick Saban. Now, the new AD, Greg Byrne, is heading into his sixth season with the Tide. He's extended, but it wasn't easy getting to Alabama. He was even rejected early in his career. I would forgot early when, in my career when I was trying to get into college sports and even with the contacts that I had, it's a hard industry to get into. I actually applied for an academic position at the University of Alabama in athletics and I, and I remember getting a rejection letter about it. I don't have the rejection letter today, I wish I, I, wish I would have saved it. Your, your family was in this kind of, how much was, did that help? How much did that inspire you, your dad, you got and talked about? Yeah, it, actually right behind me I've got the report from uh, my fourth grade career report from Flying Hills Elementary School about being an athletic director, I always tell everybody that sees it, I jokingly say it's the only A I ever got in my academic career. And um, but you know, I, I would when I was when I was young, I just thought that's what you did. You went to ball games. And One of the top pressures of the job as an AD at Alabama is you have to replace Nick Saban when he retires. I asked Byrne if he thinks about that a lot. The day I got hired and we had the press conference, I got asked that question about a hundred times. What's it feel like to be the guy that's going to hire Nick Saban's replacement? That's an easy answer then and it's an easy answer now. We're just going to continue to kick that can down the road as, as, as long as we possibly can. And his energy, his enthusiasm, the tread he has on his tire is still really strong. And so at some point that will happen. Uh, but I think everything we're trying to be focused on is making sure we continue to support and grow the program. Uh, to where he knows that w we we want to do everything we can to have success. We appreciate Greg for his time today. That's a check with sports here in Tuscaloosa. Guys, what do we have coming up at 630?